The officer who faces the most serious charges in the death of Freddie Gray is headed to trial today. Officer Caesar Goodson Jr. drove the van in which a medical examiner later ruled that Freddie Gray suffered a deadly spine injury in April of last year. Cell phone video captured the moments, in fact, when Freddie Gray was arrested and then dragged into the police van in question. His death sparked violent riots across the city of Baltimore over what protesters called police brutality. CBS Justice reporter Paula Reed now joins us from Washington with more details here. And again, Paula, what are the charges that Goodson will be facing today and how are prosecutors expected to proceed? Josh, this is a must win for the prosecution. They have a mistrial and an acquittal. Here, Officer Goodson is the only officer who faces murder charges in the death and arrest of Freddie Gray. He also faces charges of manslaughter, second degree assault, misconduct in office and reckless endangerment. Prosecutors are going to try to argue that because Goodson was the driver of that van, that it was his responsibility to seatbelt Gray in and his responsibility to get Gray medical attention when he allegedly began to suffocate in the back of that van. But his lawyers will argue that he acted as any reasonable officer would and that not seatbelting him in doesn't amount to criminal conduct. If he's convicted, he faces up to 30 years in prison. What's expected to happen today in court? Today, Judge Barry Williams, who's overseen the past two trials, he's going to take care of some preliminary matters, hear some motions, try to get some things out of the way so that he can proceed with jury selection either later today or tomorrow. For the last trial, it took about two days to seat a jury, but here with the more serious murder charges could take three or four days. So we expect the trial to get underway later this week or early next week. Now, uh, you have uh, really from the start said this was the big one, if you will, but you also mentioned the previous two, uh, the previous two trials, the mistrial of the first officer was a trial by jury. The acquittal, a trial by judge. What went in to Caesar Goodson's decision to choose a trial by jury? It does seem curious, right? Because the previous officer was acquitted by a judge. You would think he'd want to take his case, especially with the serious charges, before a judge as well. But that previous case, that was a very narrow legal issue about whether or not an arrest not supported by probable cause, whether or not that amounted to assault. That's really sort of an academic legal issue, more appropriate for a judge. Here in this case, it's questions overall about what happened and who's responsible. That's really something you'd rather take before a jury and not a judge. And two important things to remember about about this jury, Josh. I sat in on jury selection for the first trial. The first thing to, to note is that they're not looking for anyone who's never heard of this case. You'd have to live under a rock in Baltimore to not know this case. Everyone on that jury pool, they had all heard of this case. They're looking for people who can hear this case objectively and make objective decisions. The other important thing to note is that this is a jury of Officer Goodson's peers, not a jury of Freddie Gray's peers. By the time they do their strikes on each side, get rid of people, the people who remain in the jury will usually be middle class people. It's a diverse panel. They're people with office, officers in their family, relatives who serve on the police force. Most of the people with long rap sheets or criminal histories are taken out in early rounds. So it's important to note that this is a jury of Officer Goodson's peers, and that certainly helps him in this case. That selection will certainly bear watching as well. Paula Reed in Washington, we thank you.